welcome back to the channel. Today's video was actually shot the same day as last video where we got our brand new car. So if you haven't seen it, go check it out. But now let's get into the second half of today where we figure out what is wrong with Daniel's stuck GTI caliper. Oh. Big squeaky boy coming from what we think is the left rear brake. Yeah, look at all this caliper. dust too. Fucking up. Clean your shit, bro. Like a few days of dust, bro. <laughs> oh, really? That's it? Yeah, it's just dragging or something. Oh, yeah, that makes sense. So we think like the caliper might be a little bit sticky, so it's rubbing on the rotor, which is causing it to squeak and drag. We might change the pads out too. Yeah. But I don't know if that is even the issue. Move. I was taking these wheels off. Can you try spinning the, or spinning the rotor? Uh, yeah, do you wanna? Unhandbrake it? Yeah, yeah. Oh my gosh, my English is so bad. <laughs> I understood. <laughs> Wait, let me chalk one more wheel. Okay. Yeah, okay, before. Let's go look at uh, Daniel's other chalk. Bro, look how thin Daniel's other chalk is, bro. I swear the wheel just rolled right over it. <laughs> Wait till you see the other one. <laughs> <laughs> Bro, we're playing with fire here, dog. It's gonna work. All right, I'm gonna unhand break it. All right. Eat. Seems secure. Okay. <laughs> I think there's a problem. Yeah. Damn. Oh yeah, you can definitely hear it. I think it's just a caliper. I think so. It sounds like it is. I would say re-bleed. Yeah, let's do that first. Yeah. Uh, let's just it. Nipples off. Free the tit. Okay, we're ready. Nice. Uh, I'll weigh it down with the fucking funnel. <laughs> Yo, I hope no one's learning from this. <laughs> <laughs> Don't do what we're doing. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so general bleeding brake procedure. Put the hose on the nipple. And then once the nipple is uh, attached to the hose, you uh, pump the brakes a few times. Pump, pump, pump. And then you uh, hold it, like I'm doing right now. Yeah, and then you uh, break it out. And like you release the pressure. So hopefully you get all the air out. Bro, I don't know how this car is supposed to be bled. <laughs> <laughs> no space here. I can't even like break it open. Are you still holding it? Yeah. Okay, bless. Yo, my leg came all tired here, dog. I skipped all my leg days. Actually, I did a lot of walking in Montreal just this past weekend. And even in Tormoy, the what two days before. So, the legs pretty sore from walking. A lot of endurance power, but very little actual strength power. What are you talking about? No, I'm talking about how uh, sore my leg is. Oh, okay. I hope you got better, man. Thank you. <laughs> Bro, I'm just weak. <laughs> You been walking or something? Yeah, uh, came out from Montreal just now. All right. Yes, sir. Crazy. What were you doing there? Just exploring, That's art so gallery sick. stuff. Sick. Yes, sir. Okay, we tried bleeding it a few times, and it still won't work. We're still hearing some noises, and the it's thing is still spinning. Stuck as hell. I would say try to take the caliper off and try to reset it. Yeah. So it'd be like a stuck uh, pistol. Yeah. Gonna be a bitch. Fox. Yeah. Loop time, baby. After uh, messing around with the caliper for way too long, we are finally making progress on taking it off. Yeah. Just taking it off, not fixing it. <laughs> Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> so we got the caliper off, and the piston is like sort of pressed out, which is not good. So we're gonna try to clamp it back in. But we also noticed that there was a lot of like grime builds up on the like the hanger where the brake pads go. So we're gonna sand that down to make sure they slide nicely and then lubricate the ears on the pads as well. So hopefully those few things will make it so that they slide better and not give us any more problems. Hopefully. Hopefully. Look, this is what happened last time, bro. I bent this shit. What the fuck? I pressed in the caliper last time. I was like, it's really on there. Okay, but well, can you just appreciate Daniel has an actual, like, brake. What's it called? 
I don't even Caliper know. Caliper pusher backer? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, a pist piston pusher backer thing. Yeah, yeah, that's what they're called. Yeah, yeah. In Canada. <laughs> but my dumbass last time with the E46, I was just using a big ass clamp. This is a lot more professional. Bro, it still doesn't work, bro. <laughs> this piece of shit. Push that back. Right in there. That's it, and then now I'm supposed to turn it clockwise. But it's not turning clockwise. God damn. Could you also try to put a wrench on this section? The hexagon? I tried that like when it was off before. It's like... And it didn't work? It doesn't really make a difference now. Okay, if the piston's not going back in, I would say maybe now parts bust. Parts pick cleaner. Yeah. Fucking hell. Maybe, hold on, let me try breaking this loose. There's a chance. And then after that, I'm not really sure what I can do still. Like, I just put it back on and hope for the best. Yes, that's all we can do. So we tried pushing back the piston and it didn't work. So we tried releasing all the pressure in the brake line and it still didn't work. So if there's no pressure holding the piston out, we think it's probably a problem like with the piston itself. So we're gonna try to liquid wrench inside the piston. Seems sort of ghetto, but like, yeah. we don't have any other choice, do we? <laughs> Please don't do this at home. <laughs> For real. Yo! <laughs> it's hard to keep open too. Yeah. So obviously you stick the, the 11 in there. Right. So yeah, there's the boot trying to get it. The parts, or the liquid wrench in the boot. And this kid is why you should get circumcised. <laughs> so nasty, yo. <laughs> the imagery. <laughs> Oh god. The weird thing is, dude, I didn't have issues before I painted it, even though it was already like in that condition. Maybe you got paint in started. somewhere that's not supposed to be paint? I don't think so though, but maybe. Yeah. Highly probable. So we tried clamping and pressing back the piston. We tried. Uh, liquid wrenching the piston, but we're not hopeful on that. We're just letting it soak. So in the meantime, we're gonna sand out the, I guess, the hangers for the brake pads, because sometimes like brake dust builds up in them and they get like a little too tight and become yeah. sticky. So I'm gonna try to sand them back to spec, back to new. Yes, sir. Yeah, this one's pretty grimy. Holy moly! Okay, round two after we liquid wrenched it. Okay, for the best. Man, this is so whack. Can you ensure that it's down? Sure. It probably is. Give it the old uh, jiggaloo. Like, it won't go down anymore, dog. Yeah, it's down. Maybe I just need a new caliper, to be honest. Yeah. I'm just gonna re-lube everything and pray for the best, bro. Okay. Bro, I'm watching Daniel just try to crank it, and I swear this guy's like, putting all of his effort in, like 110%. Straight up 100%. <laughs> it's not going anywhere. It's actually crazy. Yeah, I think it was on the verge of breaking too, bro. Like, the yeah. tool. Yeah. Mm. Freaking hell, dog. Break clean everything on time. Yeah. Break clean's cheap. <laughs> we, just, yeah. we, just, we just doused the entire caliper in brake clean. <laughs> yeah. So with the Golf, instead of having like a handbrake inside the cal the rotor like a drum, like on the E46, the handbrake is actually like a separate cable that runs into the caliper, I believe, right? Something like that. Yeah, so Struggles. we think that might be a problem, but we're gonna put the handbrake down, so we're not really sure. Yeah, uh, it seems normal now. Fuck it, we ball. We try to put it on. Yeah, whatever, we try our best. 
but it's, it's just a little squeak. It's not like that bad. It's not the end of the world. Oh, it's pretty bad, right? <laughs> okay, okay. Yeet. Make sure they're clean, clean now. Might go harder on the wrench too, or yeah. on the on the fucking grease. Why do I call it a wrench? Because like liquid wrench is grease. True. 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 True facts. Yeah. Extra lube on the ears of the brake pads to hopefully prevent it from sticking. Shit, juicy, dude. <laughs> <laughs> Oh, that's a good that's point. You so should put a much. you should put lube on the brake rotor, right, to prevent the scooter. Yeah. <laughs> Smear it on, dude. That that way it'll make no more noise. <laughs> Slides right past. You have zero brake power. Okay, so this one's going back on the inside. Putting more on, dude. And I'll clean around. <laughs> All the fucking lube, bro. Yeah, there's definitely some on the pad too. <laughs> but yeah, it's going in. Holy shit. We're having no problems this time around. Dude, it's fucking goopy, bro. <laughs> <That's> so much. <laughs> okay, I'm gonna... Nah, this is fine. <laughs> Dude, this better work. Well, it should be worse because <laughs> of the, all the grease. Damn, I guess that's it. Yep. Let's see if this fits over. See, this is the problem I had last time, bud. Oh, because of the piston. Yeah. Frick, that's so annoying. Yeah, it's a big frick moment. <laughs> For real. For real, though. Yeah, I think my brake pad just broke, dude. Broke? Yeah. Like shattered? I just. What? Like the backing came off. Dude, what the fuck? Oh, well. Should I worry about that? That's okay. What even is that? I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> I've never seen that in my life. Neither have I. What the fuck? <laughs> Alright, yeah. It's going back on. One way or another. Oh, oh okay. That wasn't too bad. I bet it was easy because this came out. Fuck. <laughs> <laughs> Alright, it's okay. We, we got like half a water bottle worth of liquid wrench in there. So, like, it's gonna work. Okay, let's uh, bolt it all back up and uh, go for a test drive. <laughs> yeah, we're calling CAA today. <laughs> put everything back together, but we forgot the bleeder nipple. <laughs> so he's trying to reach around, put it back on. Oh, hold on. Feel for that nipple, baby. Dude, I found it. Easy. Jeez, this guy's a professional. Yeah. Hire me if you need your nipple found. <laughs> Oh my gosh. Easy. Okay, let's put the car down and then we shall go test drive. Okay, test oh, driving the Golf? Nothing yet. No squeaks? Yo. But we said it's only like when it gets up to temperature, right? Mainly, yeah. Yeah, okay, let's get up to temperature. Uh, Which means a full yeet. Oh, oh, dude, fuck this truck. <laughs> <laughs> Daniel's neighbors are doing construction and they're using up half his driveway. <laughs> Dude, but they can't oh. see around this fucking corner, around this truck. Yeet. Oh, oh this guy just went over the curb. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Lord, heck. No, oh, I think it's fixed. No, I got to the temperature first, he said. Oh, it's close enough. <laughs> <laughs> it's gone better still, because it doesn't, it doesn't creak when I press on the brakes anymore. It used to have like a sticking sound in the back, but it's okay now. Yes, sir. Oh my god. Hey, yo, don't crash here. This is where Ron rode off his cart. <laughs> Tell him to see this. <laughs> Yes, yeah. It's not squeaky anymore. 
triangles. <laughs> Fifteen soon, right? Hell yeah, dog. Jeez. Oh, you can't say that. The, the vlog doesn't know about that. Oh, my oh, bad, my oh bad. Bleep, bleep that out. Bleep that out. <laughs> bleep that out. <laughs> <laughs> Do this thing. <laughs> <laughs> We're in like a residential neighborhood. <laughs> People are looking at us. <laughs> Sorry, guys. <laughs> <laughs> Dude, this car is lit as fuck. It's alright, it's alright. Nah, fuck, this car's lit. Look, look at the headliner. <laughs> what am I looking at here? Yeah, look at all those buttons. Why? Well, it's, it's, it's just saggy, you know, she's an old girl. So what, you put like buttons in it to hold the headliner up? Yeah. <laughs> well, we used to like billow and shit. This is nice. This is like VIP compared to before. <laughs> <laughs> it's like a starlight, yo. These are like clothing buttons, right? No, they're like proper headliner pins or like upholstery pins. Pro proper in quotes, though. They're pretty, <laughs> they're pretty jank. Hey, yo, brakes are better. Yeah, so, I, I haven't so, heard a single sound this yeah. entire ride. So, Whoa. past like three, four days, I was legit so annoying. <laughs> like, I just had to go to work with loud ass brakes. But, yo. Yeah. So, what was it? I guess like the looming? I'm honestly not sure. I I personally think mainly it was because I switched the inside and outside pads. Oh, okay. But I, the lubing probably affected it a bit. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Either either way, it's gone now. Are inside and outside pads different? No, right? No, nah, but I, I'm I think they may have just like wore differently, like over. Oh, the time. okay. So like they're like bedded into the inside of the of the rotor. Right. So it's a different thing. Okay. Sure. Yeah. Makes sense. Oh, back home. <laughs> Sounds so good. Well, uh, break job done. Hell yeah, bro. Big success. Uh, uh, shout out Liquid Wrench. Yeah. Every sponsor. Uh, come by my uh, my shop. If you need some brake work done. I'm not putting that in the video. <laughs> <laughs> Just uh, give them the major intersection. You know, that's all they need. <laughs> Go to the major intersection and shout Dale's name, he'll come. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, honestly, if your brakes are squeaking, I'll hear you. <laughs> <laughs> I'll, I'll come through with the liquid wrench, the vice grips, the whole wrench set. We'll get you right. Hell yeah, Doc. Yeah. Mm, Easy fix. So good. Yeah, dude. Boss shit. <laughs> <laughs> Boss baby. <laughs> oh, man. I miss Daniel. We miss Mark, man. Yeah. This guy got out of jail and went to jail in London. Right? <laughs> <laughs> I got out of jail and went right back. Thank y'all so much for watching. That's gonna conclude this sick video. Got a new car, fixed another car, and gotta hang out with the boy again. Oh yeah. Here. 69. Yeah. OD. OD. <laughs> <laughs> Funny ass plate, bro. Epilogue. Daniel's pretty confident he can get this freaking plastic thing off, so we're going back to it again. <laughs> back with the Dremel. <laughs>
Uh, it might be too fucked. Gosh, damn. Kinda messy. I don't get it, because if it was a clip, it would like free spin. But, yeah. like, this just isn't spinning whatsoever. You know what? We could try vice grips. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Like, how would you vice grip it though? Just like grip it really hard and then turn it. Just like <laughs> outside of it. Okay. Alright, Daniel with the vice grips. Yep. I got a good size. Plastics in the way. Yeah. yeah. The plastics are spins. Yeah. Dude, I think I could compress it and then like just pull it out. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Let's make sure it's not the bumper. <laughs> you see? There you go. Yeah. yeah. Holy fuck. Yeah, plastic's gone. Oh, I'm turning it the fucking wrong way. At least you're turning it. Clockwise or counterclockwise. Huh. I think it is a clip. Oh! Yo, it just fell out. How did it do that? I don't know. Wait. No way. What the fuck? Yo, I just pushed it in. Fuck my life. Are you serious? You yeah, just push it backwards? That's it. But that's what I did too. That's oh, it. That's gone. That's, that's inside the grill. <laughs> Yo, you're never getting that. <laughs> <laughs> the other one's in there too. But yeah, they, it's done. they both are. Okay. Yo, we're idiots, yo. We could have pressed it in the whole time. Okay, so it's like a screw that goes into the thing like that. Apparently, Dale just pushed it backwards towards like the engine and it yeah. came out. I didn't even mess with this one, I just pushed it back. <laughs> yeah, okay. Dude, I swear I tried that. I was like wiggling it, but I guess not. Yeah, so was I. <laughs> but shit, at least we're done now. Nice. Wait, but that doesn't make sense though, because if it's like the license plate, because the license plate is like on a bracket, right? So if you push the license plate, you have to like, because the clips came out backwards. Oh yeah. No, but it's up here, so yeah, it won't move. Yeah, so I'm saying like, if you want to unclip the bracket, you would have had to push it into the bumper. But you wouldn't be able to push it into the bumper if the bracket's yeah. there. Yeah. I guess you had to break it. <laughs> You're supposed to. <laughs> Dang, that looks clean though. God bless. Those are supposed to be like that. Thank you, bro. Yeah. Bless. Light Yo, work. If anyone needs uh, clips taken out, <laughs> call Daniel. I got, you. I got all the tools. <laughs> Jeez. The drum roll. That's all you need. God bless. Yes, sir.